Welcome back to the Oxidation Reduction Playlist on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos and notifications. All right, in the previous video, we did, a, did an introduction to alcohol oxidation, and we mentioned that all of these alcohol oxidation reactions were taking some carbon-oxygen single bond, and we're increasing the number of bonds to oxygen that that carbon atom has. To do a very brief recap of what we talked about, we've got a carbon right here. This is the carbon we're oxidizing in the primary alcohol. And if we go up one oxidation state or we oxidize the alcohol into an aldehyde, we now, instead of having one bond to oxygen for that carbon, we now have two bonds to oxygen. A double bond counts as two bonds. And then if we oxidize one step further to a carboxylic acid, now this carbon atom has three bonds to oxygen. One single bond to this oxygen down here for this OH, and a double bond to this oxygen, which in total makes three. Okay? And if you need more detail on what we talked about, certainly go back and watch that video. However, what I did mention in the, in the previous video is that we have both weak oxidants and strong oxidants. The next video we'll talk about strong oxidants, but in this video we're going to talk about weaker oxidants. So these are reagents such as PCC, DMP, there's also a reaction called a Swern oxidation. However, from experience, the most common one is PCC. You should make sure to memorize the ones that your professor tells you, but from experience, PCC is definitely the most common one that we see. Okay. So what does a weaker oxidizing reagent do like PCC? And by the way, this slash DCM, this DCM is dichloromethane. That's a solvent normally that PCC is in. So the reaction would take place in a DCM solvent. But normally we can just say PCC for simplicity. So what does it do? Well, remember it takes an alcohol, only a primary or a secondary one, and it turns this carbon-oxygen bond into a carbon-oxygen double bond, okay? So we've got here, we've got, this is, is this a primary or secondary alcohol? Well, this carbon right here has only one carbon attached, so this is a primary alcohol. So we're going to run PCC on it, and this carbon-oxygen single bond should be converted into a carbon-oxygen double bond. Okay? So that's what we have here, a carbon-oxygen double bond. Okay? Now, they, have, they actually turned the carbon dock carbon oxygen double bond going up, they actually could have left it kind of going at an angle down like this. In other words, they could have had the carbon oxygen double bond going where the hydrogen is and the hydrogen going up. That would have also been correct. But the point is, is this carbon oxygen single bond was converted into a carbon oxygen double bond. Okay. What else can these weaker oxidizing agents do? Well, we have here another alcohol. Is it primary, secondary, or tertiary? Well, we've got this carbon right here, and it's attached to one, two carbon atoms. So this is a secondary alcohol. And what does PCC or these weak oxidants do to a secondary alcohol? The same thing. It's going to oxidize the CO single bond into a CO double bond. Okay. Notice, however, up here when we did this on the primary alcohol, we got an aldehyde. That's what this functional group is over here. When we run PCC on a secondary alcohol, we still get the carbon-oxygen double bond, but because of the nature of the uh, attached carbons, this is no, not an aldehyde, this is a, a ketone. Okay. So now that we've seen a couple of examples here, let's go to the black screen, and we're going to do some um, written examples, and hopefully we can get a hang of PCC and other weak oxidants. All right, now that we've taken a look at the theory behind weak oxidations, let's, let's actually do some examples, some written examples of weak oxidations of carbon-oxygen bonds. All right, so the first molecule we have, which is an alcohol, this is ethanol, and let's do a reaction with PCC. So that's one of our weak oxidants. And sometimes when you see this uh, reaction, you'll see under the arrow DCM, remember that stands for dichloromethane, that's the solvent in which this reaction might take place. Okay, so one thing we should do, we should ask ourselves once we know it's an alcohol, which is clearly an alcohol, this carbon with the OH attached, is it primary, is it secondary, or is it tertiary? Well, it only has one other carbon attached, so this one is going to be primary. And in general, remember, when we have either primary or secondary alcohols and we do PCC or any of the other weak oxidations, all we're really doing is turning this carbon-oxygen bond into a double bond. Um, we really don't have to think 
much harder than that. So if we do this reaction, we're going to turn this carbon-oxygen bond into a double bond, and there is my product. This is actually acetaldehyde. Okay? You could have equally drawn this like this. And sometimes uh, you'll actually see the hydrogen uh, left off here. You can include that hydrogen, but you don't actually have to. In fact, sometimes I actually will not include that. Normally you will see aldehydes with the extra hydrogen there, but you don't have to put that. All right, so that's our first reaction. So pretty straightforward. You just take the carbon-oxygen single bond and oxidize it into a double bond. Okay? Let's look at the next one. So we've got here our carbon right here. This is the one with the OH attached. Let's again, so let's do P or excuse me, let's do PCC and this will be in dichloromethane. So what do we do? We determine whether or not this is primary or secondary. So it's got two carbon groups attached. So this one is going to be secondary. So this, the rules apply here. So all we're going to do is take this carbon oxygen single bond and convert it into a double bond. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All the carbon atoms stay exactly the same. Now, a lot of times when you see this first reaction right here that we did with ethanol, this is typically the orientation in which ethanol is drawn, they'll actually usually draw the product like this one on the right. Okay? You don't actually have to do that. You can draw it like this. In fact, I usually like to keep it like this um, just because it leaves the carbon-oxygen bond in the same orientation that it was in the alcohol. And sometimes that can make it a little bit easier to visualize. This is still correct. Okay? And also notice the number of carbon atoms is not changing. Okay, so we take the alcohol and convert it, in this case, into a ketone since this was a secondary alcohol. All right, got another alcohol here. We can use another type of uh, weak oxidant. Let's, in this case, use DMP. This is another equally good weak oxidant. If you see DMP, you should also associate it with doing the same thing as PCC. All right, so let's find this carbon. This is the one with the OH attached. Let's count how many carbons are directly attached just one. Okay, so this is going to be a primary alcohol. So same rules apply. All we're going to do is redraw it except draw this carbon-oxygen bond as a double bond. And now we have an aldehyde since the alcohol was a primary alcohol. Okay, let's look at this example down here. So let's use PCC and DCM. Okay, Let's look at this carbon right here. This is our carbon with the OH attached. How many carbon groups does it have attached to it? One, two, three. So this is a tertiary alcohol. Recall, none of the oxidants, either whether they're weak or strong, which we'll cover in the next video, those do not do anything to tertiary alcohols. So this would actually be a no reaction. Okay, PCC and DCM will not do anything to those. Okay, um, one other thing I also want to point out all right, let's start with an aldehyde, and then we'll use PCC and DCM. And what is, going to, what is going to happen here? Well, PCC and DCM only act on alcohols. This is an aldehyde, so in this case, we're also going to see no reaction. So the general rule of thumb is when you're dealing with these weak oxidants, such as PCC and DMP, the only reactions that you're going to get are on primary and secondary alcohols. If you've got a tertiary alcohol or for all intents and purposes any other functional group, there's going to be no reaction. All right. So hopefully this cleared up some stuff for you on, on weak oxidants such as PCC and DMP. In the next video we're going to cover strong oxidants, in particular the Jones oxidation as it's called, and then we'll also look at potassium permanganate. Join us in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.